Yo, what is up guys? So yes, I am going to be showing you on how to actually make good honey or progress more while having a limited amount of time to play the game. And this is for each game stage too, by the way, so don't worry. Before I do say what to do, make sure to like and subscribe as we are really, really close to 100,000 subscribers. And also let's try to hit 646 likes. But okay, so let's start off with one that will really benefit everyone that has like one to eight hours or even 10 hours a day to play beast swarm and right so i recommend actually afking your planter over here for example and harvesting it once it's at 100 and then instantly going over here to the nectar condenser and condensing it in into nectar vials and this is actually crazy good for people that don't macro or can't play the game that much every day because whenever you will want to boost or even kill some mobs you will actually have good nectar this time and make more honey and do way more damage. An actual really nice addition on it has made in this update. Not saying that everything else is bad because it's good. But now let's actually go through some obvious ones that I will mention a bit before I go through every hour because a lot of people don't actually do the obvious things that you have to do. Meaning out they are wasting their time on useless things that they don't even need to do. So now I actually recommend trying to plan out what you are going to do each day. Like for example claiming the glue dispenser every day as you are just missing out on so much glue if you aren't getting it. Like I literally got 1000 glue last year or something from just claiming it every day. But the next thing as well can be improving your hive, getting better amulets, boosting for more honey, farming materials, getting on the new leaderboards and more obvious things. But now let's actually go through every hour. So starting with hour one and that is only 60 minutes the least of all. Meaning that you don't really want to waste your time on anything that isn't helpful and won't make your progress easier. And let's start this by saying that I would have one hour every day for seven days every week. So what I would do is, depending what I'm in need of mostly in whatever game stage, I would first probably look at my hive, try to fix it if it's bad, and I have made a guide if you need help with it, but then I would probably just boost in that entire one hour I have with obviously, you know, using the nectar vials. And no matter what game stage you are, you can still do a boost or just farm in fields for that hour since you have a good enough hive if you watched the video I made and spare materials that aren't going to use to craft anything or if it's just, you know, easy to get. Then secondly, I would probably focus on quests that aren't finished like I think the only actual quest I even have is the Dapper Bear one, but that's actually done already. And for the Sticker Seeker quest, I wouldn't really recommend doing them that much if you only have one hour. Like, okay, maybe you can spend that one hour like once just doing them, but mostly after that, you had fun with the update or whatever, just go back to making honey and progressing more. And thirdly, I would probably farm materials. So, you know, doing puff streams if you are able to, since that gives the most loot and I would probably literally do that for like seven days because if you get a good group of people, the materials would be literally crazy. So much wax and everything. Then focusing on amulets in that one hour as well, like doing ant challenge for a perfect one, killing stump snail in that one hour if you can. And you can't really go for most leaderboards because of the 60 minutes you have since your spot will just be taken later in that day, unless you are OP with it and can get a pro stick score for the cub but okay now let's talk about what to do between two to four hours because it's basically similar and this is already a bigger upgrade from the 60 minutes we had since it allows you to do way more so if you have any badges that you're not grandmaster on awesome quests once again you should complete those as you have way more time killing more mobs and actually doing the robo challenge since you are able to do it properly and why secondly want to say is is actually getting on more of the leaderboards like the rare b one as you are most likely going to stay on it if you just boost and you know if you are pretty good at least at the game and now this time actually as well i would say to try 
and farm some of the stickers as the buffs are really nice getting the sticker stacker up as well and also you can even hop in the trading area to try and trade something so it's basically just doing the stuff I mentioned before but this time having more time on it meaning you can get more out of it like you know leveling up your hive and everything and in now for the 6 to 10 hours or more even and with this you can actually do a lot obviously because you can do the normal things that I said before since the more time the better obviously but this also allows you to have time to practice boosts in the test realm if you aren't yet or even practice different hive builds since the more practice the better and will make you more honey and that's what you're going for you can also consider making an alt account as now is the easiest time really with all the leaderboards we have that give eggs and bees messes soon too so that will help even more and alt accounts are going to greatly improve your honey making like even guiding alt accounts if you have a fuzzy alt but yeah i mean it's really just progressing planning out to focus on things and not wasting time like if you need to complete this quest for example or get a certain amount of honey to level up your hive then I mean just go for it just need to manage your time well because it really does suck to have a time limit but if you do end up managing your time well I'm sure you will do good but overall I mean it is really just doing the things I have said before focusing on them and if you do still feel like you do need help let me know in the comments as I will be responding to you and make sure to check out all of the other guide videos I have made like how to make more honey some more tips the progression guide all the good stats for amulets some pro hives and more make sure to just watch those but yeah i hope you guys have actually enjoyed this video you have learned something and are actually doing well in bee swarm right now but remember if you want and you still need help just let me know in the comments and yeah thank you so much for watching and bye